Okay, powders. So I decided to combine drugstore and high-end and pressed and loose because I don't have that many where I could do that like say like huge the clutter so we're just gonna do them all in one and I think we'll be good on time so let's just start here okay and in my last video I realized that having these all here looks cool but then my camera doesn't focus so we're gonna move them all out of the way and then we'll do each one individually yeah Okay, so we have two pressed powders and they're both from Charlotte Tilbury. I have shade two, we've hit pan, <laughs> love that, and then shade one. So this I probably got in like a summer season. I got it probably last year, I think, last year or the year before. Really loved it, really went crazy with it. So super love, you can just keep applying. Now obviously under the eyes, everything shows at some point, but on the face, it's super beautiful. I don't know that it gives tons of coverage. It is tinted there's a difference between shades one two and three um shade three i also have but i have that in like my bronzer collection um but super beautiful especially applied with a damp sponge so there's shades one and two so this is the la mer powder i also really love this you can faintly see the outline like we're gonna hit pan so when i got this i used it heavily i still reach for it every so often um, but I've been trying to like explore the drugstore more so you'll see some that I can share with you um, in terms of that here too, but really love this powder. Obviously you don't need it. It is very expensive, I think. Okay, so I have them in the shade light, but again, if you can, if it's in your budget, get it. It is really, really good. If it's not, I mean, there's tons of other things you can try. I feel like with powder, I feel like there's like a lot of options. Like it's not like do or die kind of thing. These I really love. They're by the brand MCC and they're the Purity Baking Sun Packs. I got these last summer, I believe, and I really like them. Uh, let's see, we have shade 21 and shade 23. I got them because I wanted a powder with SPF. So this has SPF 50, so super amazing. If you guys want a video on like high SPF, makeup that actually still looks good on the skin let me know i feel like going into summer it's like a good idea yes we're gonna do it actually yeah i'm gonna put it on my list i love these these are so pretty they give a little bit of coverage and they're baked so anything that's kind of baked you can use and use and use and then you never see like obviously i've thrown my brush into these so many times but for whatever reason it just it doesn't show it like literally it doesn't sh do you see that like it just doesn't show anything but I really like these. I think they're really pretty and they do actually work as far as giving you coverage and giving you some protection. So we've got, okay, let's just shift these things away. I have my La Prairie stack here. I have two different shades, uh, translucent one and translucent two. And then every time you buy one of these, a little baby comes with it. So highly affordable. You get 56 grams in here. So I would say if you're completely, if you see, oh my God, the price, but you are getting so much more product, let me pull another one. So for example, Huda Beauty, you get 20 grams. This is 56 grams. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Um, let me pull another one. Hourglass is 10.5 grams. So I mean, these are highly worth it. If you're, if it's in, again, in your budget to just drop that money to get these, I highly recommend it. I think they're beautiful. And then they give you a little travel, a travel one so that you know, you can take it on the go or when you have to travel. The Beauty, beautiful, beautiful powder. Really love it, I got in the VIB sale. I have the shade Banana Bread. I think it's it's just really pretty under the eyes. Um, I mean, particularly under the eyes. I don't bake, but I imagine baking with it would probably be fine because it's a really like beautiful, undetectable type powder. So, and it sets and everything stays. So I would recommend this. I have not gotten rid of any powders yet <laughs> um and the thing is i'm not even like a huge heavy powder wearer i don't whatever it's a problem you know a makeup junkie's life so hourglass i also really like this so this came out when the mark jacobs one also came out and i picked that up but that was really drying on me the coconut like the one in the white packaging i'm sure if you have oily skin it might work but on me i did not like it it was like even in the summer i thought it was like too much for me so I like this one. I have this. I believe it's just a translucent shade, but I would recommend this to you also. This is like an all over powder. I don't know that you should be baking with this one. It just, it doesn't like go on top of itself the way like this one does. Like this one's almost like, 
it's like a finer, I don't know. Just, just go with it, okay? <laughs> Okay, we have the Sicily Loose Powders. I have shades one and two. It's like, when I was very into like loose powders, you know, the La Prairie, the La Mer, the this, and I found, discovered the Sicily, and they were very highly rated. However, I don't know, I like, I don't love these. They're okay, but I'm not obsessed with them. So if you guys have them or use them, let me know. Like, am I missing something here? So these are probably, I mean, these are pretty much full, um, but, these are gonna go decluttered, so bye-bye. Okay, so I might as well just continue. This is the La Mer Loose Powder. This is the original version. This is beautiful. The new one, you get way less product. I don't know if it's good or not. From what I hear, it's great. I'm not gonna try it out until maybe if I get a sample or something because obviously, obviously I still have this one and I love it. Keeping, keeping, keeping. This is the Becca, what is this? The Hydra Mist. So this is really cool because it goes on, it feels like water, but the expiration is like six months. So I feel like I, this is already bad. Like why? So I have to get rid of it. This is, <laughs> so this is so old. Um, actually it's not that old, but it's the YSL Souffle de Cla powder. And I have shade three. I actually think this is too dark for me. So I'm going to declutter or maybe actually, I wonder if my friend, she could, okay, we'll see, but I'm decluttering. This is the By Terry Hyaluronic Powder. Again, I think my friend wants to try this. So I'm actually just gonna like let her have it or if she doesn't want it, I'll put it in like a blog sale or something, but it's full size. This was actually sent to me. So, um, okay. What do you guys think of blog sale? But like anything that was sent to me, if I blog sale it, it goes to like charity. Is that allowed? I feel like that's allowed because people are always like, oh my God, you can't. Yeah, obviously no one should be selling PR and I know a lot of people do it and I don't think you should do it, but what if you put it in and then I'll mark it off as like charity. So if that all that money would go there and then maybe we could decide who to send the money to or something. Like that's what I was thinking. Cause I get so, even for me, not a very large influencer, I still get a lot of stuff and I'm also, and a lot of stuff where I'm like, I can't use this or I won't use this. So anyway, this is a random tangent. Well, people, this is the loose, this is the pressed. They're both translucent. They're both beautiful. I love them keeping both. They look, they just look, it just looks really pretty on the skin. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I don't know. I'm just, I'm going to declare this. I just never reach for it. I don't, I think it looks fine under the eye, but I, I don't know, I just, it has to go because I don't reach for it. This is another loose powder. This is by Surratt and it's his diaphanous loose powder, I believe. I really like this. Um, it's travel friendly for a loose powder because it comes in this like compact and you can press and it has like a bit of a net. Just the whole thing is genius. Surratt makes so many beautiful products. In the past year, I've tried out so many things that I think are excellent, so keeping. So let's talk about some drugstore. The Milani Prep Set and Glow, this is in shade two. I adore this. I've been using this really consistently, like at least three or four times a week I'm using this and I can't recommend it enough. It is such a beautiful, beautiful pressed powder, especially for the drugstore. Um, I can use a brush and I'll just pat it on my face to set my face and then on the under eye with a damp sponge. It is phenomenal, highly recommend. This is the Flower Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. I have the shade L4. This is also really beautiful on the skin. I don't find that I'm like obsessed with it under the eyes, but for an all around face setting powder or powder plus a little bit of coverage, it's really nice. So I would recommend this to you also. I'm probably gonna declutter this. Guys, you know, remember when I was obsessed with this powder and I still think it's really, really good. I just don't reach for it anymore. Also, again, I think I'm like lighter than I think I am. So even though I like this powder, it's still, it's a like, when it's, it is very brightening, but it's almost like too much for my skin. Yeah. Okay, lastly, this is the Stay Matte Not Flat. This is in the shade, I don't know, but I will list it. I love this. If this is the only powder foundation that I use as powder foundation. I will, you know, prep my skin, primer, and do some under eye concealer and some around the nose concealing. And then I buff this all over the face with like a natural hair brush, generally Japanese kind of Wayne Goss, Sonia G situation. And then I spray my face and it looks like I have no makeup on. It just, 
even around my nose. There's two products, this and then the Chanel Fresh Water Tin, where I apply and I think it just, I look like I have no makeup on. I, it's just, I love it. So can't recommend this enough. Okay, so the Fenty Beauty, this is a translucent powder, supposedly, it has like a slight pink tint to it. I really like this. I think this is really great as like a touch-up powder, like as far as like keeping it in your purse and like, you know, you get yourself a blotting sheet and if that doesn't do the trick, you pat a little bit of this on. Really, really nice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't set my whole face with this um, just because of the, like the slight pinkness and I'm not like using it under my eyes, but maybe on the, like the outer corner. So I'm not using this in the inner corner, but it does have a place in my collection. So I'm keeping it. This is the Cody Airspun. I have it in naturally neutral. I kind of wanted to clutter this. I've used this like once and I wasn't like wowed by it, but maybe I will keep it in the collection, use it again and see if it makes it through. I just wasn't like, I used it once and I was like, oh, I want to use it again. I, I want to see if it's, you know, you know what I mean? Like I wasn't, it didn't make me curious. This is a new powder to my collection. I haven't used this yet. It's the only thing I haven't used and it's by Rodial and it is their Soft Focus Glow Powder. So it's supposed to kind of do kind of like a correcting thing. When I saw swatches of it, I thought it was like really pretty. So it's kind of luminous. So we'll see, I have to try it. This kind of behaves similarly to the Rodial. I mean, I don't haven't tried it. I'm just saying like, they're kind of like in the same family. This is the Sublime Light Powder. So you could totally use this as a highlight, but I use it as like a buffing thing. Like I just buff it all over my face at the end of my makeup. So pretty, like this is like a filter on your skin and I have it in the lightest shade, I think. Yeah, SLP01. So they no longer sell Black Up at Sephora, but they still sell it at Macy's, so exciting. Okay, so this is everything Hourglass. I've got Diffuse Light, which clearly we loved when it first launched, obviously obsessed. And then this is Dim Light. Uh, I don't reach for these as much as I used to, uh, but I'm keeping them in my collection because I do like them. And then this is one with Dim Light, Incandescent, and Radiant. And with this one, I just take my brush and I just go over the whole thing. Uh, and I really enjoy this as well, so keeping. Okay, so this is the Laura Geller. Ooh, ooh, <clears throat> these declutter videos, you will lose your voice. Okay, so balance and brighten in medium. This is a compact I pull out when I want coverage. And not, I mean, you can probably use this obviously as your powder foundation, I haven't done that yet. Um, I just find the formula to be a little more like drier than the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat. That one has such a light, silky formula. This one is what I use when after I finish my makeup and I notice like maybe my bronzer contour highlight, maybe I can see lines of demarcation. I'll take this on like a buffer brush and just buff the edges. So it buffs, but it also conceals and blurs. Blend and blur. Yes, that's what it does. So that's what I have this in my collection for. So I think we're done. Okay, so this is my keep pile. Pretty much kept a lot of stuff. And that is my declutter pile. So we've decluttered <laughs> six, seven powders. I'm okay, so this is kind of how it's gonna sit in the drawers. Compacts are here, loose powders are there. And I put like two of the compacts back on my vanity to use. Actually, I'm gonna put this one back on the vanity also. And I think I'm gonna declutter the airspun. Or maybe I'll put it on my vanity, try it again. If I don't like it, I'll declutter. I'm not, I don't know why I'm so torn about this one. What's wrong with me? Anyway, yes, this will be the storage situation.